Oh, you cannot make this flyer season up. You just cannot make it up as they fall 6-5 to five in overtime to the Flames after they were up 5-3 to three in the third period. Come on, man. This just cannot happen. We got kind of lucky. Yeah, Mike Smith had a horrendous night. The Flames had to yank him. Dale Weiss is scoring goals from the opposite side of the ice. We took four penalties in the third period. It all started when Wayne Simmons took uh, the dumbest penalty in the world. He hits Sam Bennett with a with a, literally a hook. The referee doesn't even call it. He gives him a little warning, and then Simmons gives him another shot to the face. He goes to the box. You know, you get stupid stick penalties. You're going to the box. What do you expect? Now, I know they didn't score on any of those power plays, but in the third period when you have to consistently use your PK guys over and over and over again, <laughs> they get tired, and on top of that, the guys who don't play on the penalty kill, they get cold. They're not on the ice ever. That was atrocious, heartbreaking, heartbreaking loss for that Flyers team. They're sitting in that locker room, well, maybe not now, but after the game, you're talking dead silent, crusher, and this could be a game that really just dreads on. It was that horrendous of a loss. You're up 5-3. to three. After you score a shorty, Sean Couturier scores a shorty to put us up 2 in the 3rd, and then we just fall apart in the last 2 minutes? They pull their goalie, they're scoring on clap bombs from the point, then they score with 7 seconds left, and then what, a little over 30 seconds in the overtime, bang, they score, Johnny Gaudreau of all people, the South Jersey native, now it's a little weird for me to talk about him like that, because he actually is a good friend of mine, I grew up playing for his dad, his brother's my best friend, I'm really close with the Gaudreaus, very, very weird to talk about him uh, at this point here, especially as he beats my squad. I texted him before the game, Flyers by 7. He said, you think? I said, absolutely not. We stink. And I was right. I'm actually going to visit him in a month, and I'm stoked. I digress. This Flyers loss, I hope, I hope, doesn't go and really make a big time spiral because it has the opportunity to do. We weren't even, we weren't even involved in, in this game, honestly. We were getting out pumped, out shot. Anthony Stolars came up clutch. I feel bad for him. He came up clutch throughout the game. Not late, I know, but he he made some big time saves. I've been very, very happy with what Stolars has provided for us. Am I happy with what Provorov has been doing? No. No. The turnover, the wraparound late in this game, just throwing it. He has been something else, man. I'm just really frustrated. Ch Chuck Fletcher in the booth next to Jim Jackson evaluating this squad. There are going to be a ton of moves made. And I, and I know that. I feel like the players have an understanding. They have a lot of pressure knowing that they're playing for their lives here in Philadelphia. But losses like this. Whew. I've been in locker rooms. I've personally experienced losses like this. You're, you're, you're kind of just sitting there shocked in your stall thinking, what the hell just happened? You can't believe it. It kills the morale. It kills the energy. You could have walked away, even though you didn't deserve to, you could have walked away with two points in that building and said, okay, that's a good Flames team. Let's move forward. They probably would have came out the next game with a loss because that's what this team does, but... You could have at least had an opportunity to make some sort of run with this. By the way, I forgot. I didn't make a, a Winnipeg Jets Flyers recap. That's because who was the jerk-off to schedule a Flyers game during the Dallas Cowboys and Philadelphia Eagles game? I watched it. I had it on a second TV. When it was 5-1, get off. Get off. Even though it was on the separate TV, I don't even want to see it. This stuff just can't happen, and it's one of those seasons. It is getting tougher and tougher and tougher and tougher. You know, without Mike Smith having a really poor performance, are we even involved in this hockey game at all? I don't know if this team's ever going to be able to get out of the funk. We move on to Edmonton in two nights. 
I don't know, man. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what this team really has to offer for us. It's a shame. I, I feel so just... Uh, that right there. Whatever word describes what I just did, that's how I feel. I don't even get excited for Flyers games, which crushes me. That kills me. Today we had a doubleheader, Sixers-Flyers. Normally I'm so pumped for that, especially when it's a West Coast game. You get a little bit of in-between time to to be able to mix in both games. They both don't start at 7. I don't even get excited for the Flyers. Because I don't think they have enough to provide anything for us this year. It's it's constant games like this. And then we'll mix in a great win against some random team. And then we think, oh, maybe we can ride it. And then we fall in embarrassing fashion or something. I don't know. But this loss is, um, is heartbreaking. Let me know your thoughts. I'll see you next time.